both the ones, the church, that all they do is good deeds, good deeds. Let's be honest. No one does more good stuff than Catholic services. Let's be honest. The Catholic charities, Catholic services, does that mean? Does that mean they're automatically pleasing to Yahweh? No. They eat pig, they eat lobster, they eat shellfish, they denigrate the Jews, they teach replacement theology, that the church has replaced Jewish Israel as Yahweh's bride. They're guilty, they're filthy guilty. But so are we. Because when you can't pay your light bill and you're hungry and your wife has gone into dementia and she needs counseling, you're not going to call the Messianic rabbi. You know why? Because he has nothing to offer you, baby. You're going to call the church. I'm preaching good today. Because they got the moolah. Now, if they got the moolah, we know Yahweh's work done Yahweh's way, never lacks Yahweh's provision. Maybe it's we who are not doing Yahweh's work Yahweh's way. Because we sure got the doctor. The Torah proves to us that we got the right doctor. But maybe we're not doing Yahweh's love Yahweh's way, meaning hitting the pavement, hitting the streets, and, and meeting people that, 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 are, that are hurting where they need oh, help. Shoot. Oh, Baruch Hashem Yo. So look, we conclude based on all this for the last hour and a half, we conclude, wow, verse 28, sad. that a man is made righteous by a munafe apart from the mitzvot of the Torah. So when you come to me next time and go, well, <laughs> are they saved? What, what, don't, what does the Bible say? Can you be in the church and be saved? It is evident, and we conclude, we who are we, those who believe the Birch Hadashah, we conclude with Rav Shaul that a man is not made righteous by Torah mitzvot. See, until we come to that conclusion, until we come to that conclusion, we're going to keep thinking we're better than the people in the church, and we're going to keep thinking that if you're in Babylon, i.e. the church, you're lost and going to hell. Sorry, it don't work that way. It may work that way in our understanding, but that's not Yahweh's understanding. Do you understand him today? Do you understand him today? Huh? Let's continue. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Is anyone enjoying? Amen. Romeo 3.29. Is he therefore, we after this conclusion, that both the ones who build hospitals but don't guard Shabbat, those who build uh, nursing homes but don't keep the commandments, or those who do keep the commandments but they're mean-spirited and they have no love and they don't walk in a hava. We conclude that everybody is guilty apart from personal faith and personal salvation. Look at verse 29. Is he the Eloha of the Yehudim only? No. It's a rhetorical question. Is he, all, is he not also the Eloha of the nations? Yes, of course, of the nations also. Since it is Eloha Echad who will justify the Brit Milah, the circumcised, by a Munafe, and the Akrobustia, those tossed away foreskinned or uncircumcised, who tossed away their covenant rights, through Emuna, so both the circumcised and the uncircumcised, or those who laugh at the Torah in the church, and those who obey the Torah in our midst, both, both groups are full of chet. Both groups are full of sin. Both groups disobey the Torah. So, do we, verse 31, do we make void the Torah through personal emunah, personal faith, salvation in Yeshua, faith in Yeshua's death, burial, and resurrection? By no means. Listen, we establish the Torah. You know what that means? That means that all those in the church who have faith in Yeshua have already established the Torah. Think about that while I drink. Can you give me about six, seven more minutes? Yes? That's what I was hoping. Did you get that? Let's read that again. It says, do we make void the Torah through personal emunah, faith, trust, belief? No. 
We actually established the Torah. Listen. Faith in Yeshua, according to Romans 10.1, is the goal of the Torah, anyway, since that is the goal for all of us. And the details do not add up to salvation. Please don't miss that. The details do not add up to salvation. They got a whole bunch of folks there who don't do the Torah in the church, right? All those details don't add up to salvation because they're guilty of the sin of what? Commission. Don't eat pig, they eat pig. Don't change the Shabbat, they change the Shabbat. Keep them all in they do Easter and Christmas. They are guilty of sins of commission. Willful violation of the Torah. We, on the other hand, are the ones called to reach humanity and the lost and the hurting and the dying, and we don't do it. We are guilty of the sins of omission, so that salvation is apart from the details of your Torah-keeping lifestyle. It is apart from that. It is separate from that. It has nothing to do with that. And boy, that's a hard sandwich for us to swallow. You mean all this stuff that we're doing now is a waste of time? No. It's supposed to show you that you love Yeshua enough to obey Him, but now you're to go on to learn from the church and obey them Him even more. And they to learn from us to obey Him even more. We learn from them and they learn from us. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Faith in Yeshua is the goal of the Torah. Look, look, go to Romans 10.1. Here's what all the Torah keeping is about. All the Shabbat, all the Moadim, all the Simcha, all the Davidic worship and the Davidic dance. Hey, here's what it's all about. Look at Romans 10.1. Israelite brothers, I'm sorry, jump down to verse 4. Romeo 10.4. For Moshiach, our Savior, His blood, His atonement, His death, burial, and resurrection. For Moshiach is the actual purpose or goal of the Torah for eternal tzaddik standing to everyone who believes. The whole goal of the Torah is to bring you to everlasting life. Hello? What is the goal of the Torah? To bring you to everlasting life. But how does the Torah achieve its goal? To show all you Shabbat keepers and all you Moadim keepers and all you kosher keepers that there are areas in our lives where the church is doing Torah and we're not. And to show the church that the methods and the way to please Yahweh, they need to learn from us. Do you understand? So, so, so the, the purpose of, the, of keeping Torah is to bring you to a faith witnessed by the Torah, but received apart from the Torah. That blow your mind? I'll say it again. The purpose of everything we do here at Bnei Yeshua Synagogue is to bring you to a faith in personal salvation and a trust and belief on Yeshua, not in Yeshua. We believe on Yeshua. Believing Yeshua is a mental ascension to the facts of the Besorah, the Gospel. We don't believe in Him. We are called to believe on Him. On Him for my car payment. On Him for my home. On Him for the restoration of my life. On Him for the restoration of my marriage. On Him for the restoration of my children. I don't believe in Him. <laughs> I believe on Him. I'm putting it all on Him and not on me. I'm, we're not called to believe in Him. Demons believe in Him and tremble. We're not called to believe in Him. We're called to believe on Him. It's on you, man. You know, man. I used to have bondages. But I'm putting it on you. I used to have inordinate affections, but I'm putting it on you. It's on you, you sure. You took it. You carried it. By your strength, I am healed. The whole purpose of keeping the Torah is to bring us to a realization that faith could be birthed in us to trust Yeshua for eternal life apart from the Torah. And the same, the same with the church. Wait a second. We just read that the church won't be judged 
by the knowledge of the Torah because they don't have the knowledge of the Torah. 